Will you pray with me? Creating, renewing, sustaining, and redeeming God, we come to you today after a long week of many emotions. It began with anticipation and hope for what was possible, coupled with fear and anxious energy for what was possible. And now we are here on Sunday knowing what is. God, the world feels topsy-turvy right now and not in the Jesus kind of way, where the last shall be first and the first shall be last. The world feels topsy-turvy right now because much of what we have learned together here in this community, this community of radical welcome and abundant hospitality, this place of putting love into action over and over so we can treat people need, people's needs as holy, it feels like much of what we have learned from Jesus and tried our best to live together in imperfect ways was mocked and rejected at the ballot box. God, help us to remember that we are experiencing nothing new. The Jesus we love and the movement he created was one of resistance to performative faith. Resistance to Bibles sold for profit and political influence resistance to shouts of I'm pro-life while turning an eye to and actively upholding death-dealing systems and structures of oppression for all but a chosen few of the living. Resistance to proclamations of Jesus is my savior from one side of the mouth while speaking bigoted words against the very people Jesus stood for while he walked the earth out of the other. God, we need you to help us to be clear about what is not of you and help us to believe that you have prepared us and called us for such a time as this, to be the bearers of a legacy of resistance in this time and in this place. Keep us attuned to your powerful spirit that is still moving among us. Help us to see you and one another. Keep us noticing things. Recommit us to practices of prayer, worship, and stewardship. Stewardship of your creation and stewardship of our time, talents, and resources. Recommit us to the practices that we know from experience transmute our heart and minds and help root us in a place of resilience, renewal, and hope. God, recommit us to powerful prayers like the one Jesus taught us prayers that have the capacity to transform us and the world if we don't just say them, but live them too. Let us speak our family prayer together now, allowing its words to be the coordinates that set our course for the week ahead. Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen.